Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a link in bio landing page and to do so we will need to have a WordPress website and the Elementor page builder. If you're using WordPress.com or WordPress.org and you are using Elementor to build your website, to build some pages or your blog post, you end up in the right place because together we are going to build one. So I already have a link in bio page built from my old Instagram and I want to redesign this page again for design by Justine Lamer Instagram. So we need to go into the theme of my actual website right now, how it looks. So I'm trying to have the same vibe going on and let's get right into my computer. So here we are into the dashboard of wordpress.com into my website justinelamer.com so what we're going to do is actually go into the link in bio page that I've already done and we're going to design it we're going to do it all over again so basically I want to reuse that theme so see I just want that header and make sure my um, website looks like this the links looks like that so this is what we're gonna do and make it obviously um, mobile friendly because everybody is going to use that link from my instagram and usually people do it from their phone so this is what we're going to do okay we are on links and we are going to go into edit with elementor okay so first before um building your landing page you will need to know what kind of links you want to share i think i'm going to stay at three to four links max we'll see let's go and let's go into elementor okay so right now i am on my services page if i go over there and i go to elementor links which is my link page all right i'm going to click on it and that was my old page that's the mobile one so yeah when people were going on my instagram and go on my links he says way too much link that's that's ridiculous so we're going to change that we're going to make it better services page so here is the background color so i think i have everything already uh, in elementor by default but if i want to find a color in elementor of one of the background i just click on those dots over there and i'll go into style and see here is uh, my the color of my background so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to copy so command c i'm going to copy this and paste it into my link page so here is the background of my section is a colleague section so here is my section and i'm going to say change the background of that section so I click on those dot to make any edits and then I'm going to go on style because this is the style of the page and I'm going to pass the numbers. We're going to change this picture because this is not the picture I'm using on my Instagram and I want people to recognize it. that's enough of me talking we're going to design it we're going to change the picture I'm going to make sure the I like how it looks behind it and we are going to change those so let's go let's do it So here is what I've done so far. I have changed the title, so I put links and I changed the color. I added the new picture of myself so that the 
that's the picture that matches my um, Instagram, so people will recognize it. There's like a little uh, purse effect because if you click on that picture, it will bring you to my Instagram all over again. Uh, then I did like a divider to divide the picture from the links and so now we are going to take out the links So I'm going to just delete all the links that I don't need and the one that I want to keep I'm going to do a new button something a little bit more stylish. I guess uh, let's keep going with the design Okay, so here is a recap of what I've done and what you can do too. So, um, we use one section. In this section, we have three columns. So those are columns, right? I do three columns just to be able to have one thing in the middle because this is made for mobile and this is not really made for your desktop. So I have a one section, three columns in a middle column and on that section, I added a color background as well as a PNG image. So this is where you can still see the background on the back. Then I added like a title. So if you go into your elements over here, so all those little squares, this is all your elements that you can add. So you just only have to drag and drop into your columns and your section. So here it is, my image will be there, all right. A title heading here. I added an image. So I went to image, added my um, elements image over there and then I added a divider. The divider you can custom however you want. I put some wave but as you saw you can put like trees, dots, single lines, whatever you want. You can change the height of it. Um, I really like it like that so we're gonna keep it like this. Also on my image I added a link. So if you go into content into your image here it says wrapper link. Added my buttons. So those are a uh, button. So if I go here and you can find button, you just go into search and tap button. And this is the one I have used here. So it's pretty um, simple. And so same, if you click in that little um, pencil here, you can uh, edit your button. So here is the link. So what I've done, for example, for my Pinterest here, yeah. for Pinterest, I went to my Pinterest account, to my profile, and then uh, Command C or Control C on Windows and I went into Elementor and I just uh, went to my button and go into links and command uh, V to past the link. That's that simple. You can add an icon if you want. I decided to not go with that. I changed the radius of my button to make it a little bit round. I just duplicate this. So if you click right on the little pencil, you have like a little menu that pops up and you can do some stuff. So. I did duplicate it. So now I updated it. So we're going to see now on my phone. So I went into my old Instagram account, which is where I have the justinelema.com slash links. So we're going to open that links and hopefully it looks good. Let's see. Yay! We are on my um, Disney Instagram account and I have the same links. I want to keep the same links on both of my uh, Instagram accounts. So I'm going to go into the link in my bio. And here we are, so links came up, this is my picture, see, I just click on it, it's a uh, pop-up, but let's see if I click on it, it's going to bring me um, to my website, that's really cool. Okay, now, and let's see how overall it looks, so there's my picture, it looks really good, uh, in great form, that works, 
can go back. So now I am going to add this link into Design by Justine Lamer so people can find my inquiry forms, they can find my website, my YouTube channel, as well as my Pinterest and my Amazon store. So that's pretty cool. So see, I stayed to the one I wanted to share. So I invite you to do the same. If you have any question for me or if you want me to be more specific, let me know in the comment down below. I'll be super happy to answer any of your interrogation. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching today's video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future applause have a wonderful rest of your week and until next time take care